Okay, so you've built your FM radio and it doesn't tune right. Um, this particular radio was tuning too high. It won't, it won't tune anything you know below 100 megahertz or something like that. It's it's only going up and not and not down. So we need to adjust it somehow. And so it's usually done with a local oscillator. The local oscillator is probably set too high. So what we're going to try to do is measure the range of the local oscillator and make some determination of, of where we need to go and how, we can, how can we adjust it. Now we do have a schematic, but it doesn't tell me what the IF frequency is. So we're going to have to kind of guess on that. Um, I can't read Chinese. And so I'm just looking at all the numbers. And I don't see any numbers that would tell me... This says 70 kilohertz. That, that doesn't sound... 70 kilohertz. Maybe the local IF is 70 kilohertz. That would be very, very low. But anyway, there's something in here that says 70 kilohertz. That's the only thing I have going for me is 70 kilohertz. But let's measure the range. So uh, we need a spectrum analyzer, so we'll, we'll use our tiny. Um, and we need uh, some way of probing it, so I'm going to use my uh, near-field probe. And I'm going to uh, find some spot on the board where I get a signal, and I, I have a signal here. So here's I'm off the board, and now I've moved it onto the board. And in this particular location, I'm getting a nice strong, I'm getting a nice strong signal. And it says this one's at 92.7 megahertz, which is in the FM band, right? So let me um, let me change the tuning. I'm going to change the tuning to one extreme. And it's a, that it well, that was at one extreme. That was at 92.7. And then let me move, move it to the other extreme. And the other extreme, it's at 70.2 megahertz. Well, that didn't really help, did it? Okay, so what are we changing here? Let me let me try to do this while I... Oh, there it is. It is moving a little bit. See it moving? Maybe you can't see it moving. I can see it moving. So let's... Uh, let's... Uh, so this is right around 70 megahertz. Interesting. So let's uh, zoom in on that so we can try to see what's it doing. So we're going to do uh, marker ops to center. That will put us in the center. And then we're going to change the span. Uh, so we're going to hit frequency span. Uh, let's say let's say 10 megahertz. All right, so there it is. Uh, and now I'm going to change the tuning knob. And is it moving? I am changing the tuning knob and it is not moving. Okay, so whatever that is, it is not moving. Okay, so we need to find some other, some other point in the circuit then that does move when I tune it. And I'm not seeing anything. So let's go back. Let's go back to uh, preset. So we look at everything. All right, so that's just kind of there. So let me let me turn off the radio. Oh, it's always there. Ah! Oh dear. It's something it's something else. It's something picking up something else. I don't know if that's a birdie in the uh, in the SA or something in the room, but it's picking up 70 megahertz. Uh, well now it says it's 105. 105, and then let me turn on the radio, and it's still 105. All right, so what was this other one? Here's this other one. Okay, let me turn off the radio, and then, yeah, that 105 just stays there. I don't know why it's there. All right, so let's uh, let's zoom in on this one then. Was I zoomed in on the right one? Okay, so we're going to do marker ops to center, and we're going to do... Frequency span of, let's do 20 megahertz. Okay, there it is. And, okay, I have to rearrange things here. There it is. And then I'm going to tune the, oh, there we go. Now it's working. Okay, so I'm tuning the dial and it's going back and forth. So I don't know what I was doing last time, but we, we might have been looking at that, that carrier that's not moving. All right, so this one does move. Okay, good. All right, so let me set it to one extreme, 70.2 megahertz. And then we'll move it to the other extreme. And we've just gone off, gone off. So, okay, so let's do our span. 
let's span uh, 50 megahertz. And then maybe we can see it. Yeah, we can see it move all the way up. So it goes up to 92.7. Okay, so it goes from, it goes from 70.2 to 90, 92.7. So here, let's write this down. Okay, so our V, our, our, our VFO, uh, we're going to be, uh, we're going to write this down, uh, 92.7, 92.7, and at the other extreme, the other extreme we are at, I forgot already, uh, 70.2, okay, so 70.2. Okay, so that doesn't, does that make sense? We're gonna be tuning over a range of 76 to 108, which I think it's more than that, but we'll, we'll call it that. 76 to 108 is, is what we're supposed to be tuning. It's probably more like 118 and more like 70 or something like that, but, but those are the two marks on the front, the biggest marks on the front. All right, so we have, uh, we have this range, which is, uh, calculator. Okay. We have 108 to 76. That is a 32 megahertz range. Okay. So 32. And up here we have 92.7 and 70.2. We have a 22.5 range. So we don't have the whole range here. So that's, that's kind of interesting. I don't know why. And we are definitely not these numbers. We're those numbers, but we're not these numbers. So uh, we can assume we have a 70 kilohertz IF frequency, which is maybe what this says, 70 kilohertz. Hmm. Um, or it's like normal FM stuff. It's at 10.7 megahertz. But anyway, it certainly doesn't make any sense, does it? Okay. It certainly doesn't make any sense. So let's see if we can change it even a little bit farther. And let me show you how to do that. Okay. So let me, let me change my probes here. All right. So the tuning capacitor is under here. Okay. And let me get some tweakers here. Here's one. Now, this is one of those capacitors where the, uh, the blades move, there's like plastic film and they move within the plastic film. And there's two extra capacitors and they're on little screws here. There's a screw here and a screw here. And those are extra capacitors um, that you can modify the range of this tuning cap. So let's see if we can't get those to move. Okay, let's see if that makes any difference. So let's let's put it on one, on one end here. Let's see, we're gonna go to the, uh, the 92 range. And remember, I think it's all too high, so I wanna make it lower. I wanna make that 92 lower, okay? So we're going to let's get this all on camera. You can see that. We're going to uh, probe, and you can see it here. And then I'm going to adjust one of these capacitors and see what happens. Oh, and there we go. It's uh, I can make it higher easily. And I'm going to tune this one, and this one doesn't do anything. So that one's not being used. But this one we can tune. We can make it go higher, and we can make it go lower. Uh, so is that going to help us out? Hmm. I don't, I don't know. Um, so the next thing we need to do is figure out where is it that we're actually tuning. Okay. And we can do that by, uh, trying to create a hundred megahertz tone. All right. So let's try to do that with our, uh, with our tiny. Uh, we're going to go to mode, low output. We want to do a frequency of 100 megahertz. Uh, we want to do uh, the highest level it's got, which is, geez, plus 10. Oh, my goodness. That's a lot. Uh, uh, 10. No, it only lets me do minus 6. I don't know why. Oh, well. Modulation, we will do wideband FM one kilohertz and we will say on and 
we will see if we can tune this, okay? All right, so I don't hear anything. I'm going to move the tuning dial. And I don't hear anything at all. I wish I knew what station that was. We are FM, right? I'm sure we're FM. Yeah. I don't know where the Bollywood station FM is. I know where the AM one is. Okay, so let's set our frequency to something else. Let's set it to uh, 75 megahertz, see if we can tune that. Ah, there it is. So, oops, I shouldn't have touched that back. Okay, so there it is. So we can we can tune in 75, and then let's see what it's pointed at. It's pointed at 84, so we're about 10 megahertz. It's reading 10 megahertz too high. Okay, it's 10 megahertz too high. Hmm, interesting. All right, uh, so what can I do? Let me, let me adjust one of these. Now let me tune it in and see what happens. Oh, this goes over here. Can I tune it in? Ah, uh, there it is. Okay, now what's it reading? Now it's reading even worse. No, 75. Oh, it's getting better. It's getting better. We're at uh, around 80 now. So let me let me move this up even farther. Kind of doing this blind. Uh, yeah, that's even better. Okay, so let me set the knob to 76. Okay, and then we will output 76, 76, and then we will adjust this until we hear it. So there it is. There we go. Uh, was that, that wasn't exactly on camera, but you saw what I was doing, right? I was adjusting. I set the, the, the dial indicator to 76, and then I changed the frequency to 76, and then I'm changing this capacitor right here so that we hear it. Right about there. So now it should be in calibration. There we go. I think we're good to go. Yep. So let's turn off the... Turn off the tiny, and now we have a radio that works. Okay, so let's uh, let's test it out here. Let's uh, let's tune it to see if it works at the high end. Uh, let's tune it to 100 megahertz. Okay, that's 100 megahertz. Oh, my antenna just came off. Won't matter for this test. I have to put it back on. Let's change our output to 100 megahertz and then let's see if we can tune it in oh I didn't I didn't have to turn off turn on there we go there it is okay up there 100 and let's read the front dial and it says 104 so it's reading high so I think there's kind of a slope offset problem. You can probably make it more accurate at the high end or the low end. So let's go ahead and try to make it operate better at the high end, because I'm not going to use that 75 megahertz stuff. I'm, I, want the, I want the high end to be correct. So I'm going to set this to be right at 100 megahertz. And I'll set this to 100 megahertz, which it is. And then I will adjust the... Uh, where's my signal here? I will adjust the... Uh, capacitor so that we get it. Oh, 
and I'm not hearing it. Uh oh. There it is. It's still high. I want to make it go lower. Okay, let's kind of creep up on it. Let me set it. Let me set it down a little bit. Let me set it there. Let's see if we can make that work. There it is. So now 100 megahertz is reading about oh 101. Oh, we're very very close now. Okay, good. So let me adjust it just a little bit farther. Where's my tuning knob? That one. Right about there. Let's see if we can get that one to work. Uh, it doesn't quite get there. It's just a little bit, a little bit off. So let's move this up just a tiny bit. There it is. So 100 megahertz is reading 100 megahertz if you read the bottom of the arrow, uh, the bottom of the uh, cursor that moves back and forth. So, so, so that's good. Uh, anyway, uh, so let me turn this off. So I could talk. So let's hope this, this was valuable, right? We used the tiny SA in two different ways. The first way we used it was to figure out what frequency range we were looking at, right? And that helped a little bit. Um, it kind of told us that maybe it wasn't exactly where it should be. Um, but the more important thing was to use the output of the tiny SA. So what we did was we um, tried to see if we could receive something. I first tried it at 100 megahertz and I could receive nothing, no matter what tuning range I used. And then I went to 75 and I was able to, I was able to finally hear something. And then, and then we tried to calibrate it. And then we tried to make sure that when we set the radio to 75, we were listening to 75. And we kind of got that ball parked in. And then we moved up to, I want the needle to be at 100. And then I moved the output to 100. And we finally, we finally got to see something, okay? So, so what is it? What is it that I'm doing here? Uh, this is now changed with some of the software ups and updates and stuff. Um, so I'm not really quite sure all what you can do here. I think I think you can move the knobs and stuff, but I'm not quite sure yet. Um, but anyway, um, let me turn this off. So it's making noises. Um, so we're using the. Let me let me go back. Let me show you how to do this. All right. So normally your tiny SA is running in s s uh, uh, spectrum analyzer mode. You go to mode and click on switch to low output. So that's outputting on the low connector. And then you set a frequency that you want. Frequency, we wanted 100 megahertz. And then you set a level that you wanted, okay? And uh, you can set that to, uh, let's say one, a one dBm. It is not really quite doing it. Uh, oh, I see. Oh, I'll get it. So that's what these things are. So you can say, oops, back. You can say, want to go up by tens. There's a little 10 there. So oh, this is ones and this is tens. I can go up by tens. All right. I'm not so sure I like that. I don't, I don't, I don't anyway, that's just a complaint. Um, so anyway, you set the level to something that's going to work, something on the higher end. And uh, then you change the modulation, okay? So FM radios use wideband FM. If you're testing something like a, a ham radio, two meter or, or, or 70 centimeter HT, those use narrowband FM, uh, but we're gonna use wideband FM. And then uh, don't touch the other ones. We're not gonna sweep and we're not gonna change. We're not gonna use an external amp and stuff like that. Okay, so you have to set it up. But then nothing happens. You have to enable it. You have to turn it on. And that's what this off thing is here. When you click this, then that turns it on. And now it's outputting, now it's outputting data. And uh, it's, uh, it's sending this out. So uh, yeah, it ended up being quite useful and uh, helped us with our little radio.